my intention always was to create an experience for people, create something that had cultural richness to it, that was free for anybody to participate or attend, and to draw awareness to this quaint area of downtown. Uh, the Chalk Festival started out as a uh, chalk event where artists use chalk as the medium and the pavement as their surface to create um, paintings while people watch, so it's a performance art event. Um, we're now entering our fifth year and it's now evolved really into not only a pavement art event, but it's evolved into a vertical event as well and going vertical and a performance art event and a music event. So there's, it's a full-fledged street art festival. I'm the cheerperson of Going Vertical, which is the spray paint aspect of the event. We have, so far we'll have nine world-class artists. Three of them are from Brazil. The rest of them are from France. that are coming to spray paint the walls. You'll be able to see several walls that are done still from last year that are fantastic. The spray paint started probably back maybe even early, but back in the 50s in New York City, kids would, you know, kids wanted to express themselves in the city, like in the Bronx, and mm -hmm. they would get spray paint and they'd go down to the subway stations and they'd do the walls or the trains, and, and it was it was illegal. And now it's become a, a an accepted public art event and a separate manner to express yourself. The artists um, participate on, on their own um, and give their talents, but we pay for a lot of their expenses. So uh, we pay for airfares and lodging and food and all the supplies and PR. And so we pay for a lot of things for them, um, but they're participating as, as volunteers, just like I am. You know, I have this thing where I just wanted to magically come together and not have to worry about the money aspects of it. Um, but the reality is, you, you, in order to create something like this, you do have to raise money. So we do work with sponsors and we try to think of ways to make it worthwhile for them uh, to give to us something we can give in return. Um, we also try to make money at the event, so we do things like sell t-shirts. This will be the first year that we actually um, are, will be selling t-shirts and products and stuff to try to be able to raise enough funds to, to pay for the festival. So I think whenever you do something that you're passionate about, I think it automatically has the ability to keep growing and, and keep getting better. And that's kind of what it's done over the years. Um, the first year it was almost all local and I had actually hired one professional street painter the first year. Then uh, as the years went on, we started contacting more street painters. We, well, this year we had over a thousand applications from around the world. Um, but my whole goal all along was to invite people that were passionate, that um, fit in with our mission, that enjoyed giving back to the global community, uh, something that to me is an art form that's a, about something more than just our, our physical being and our physical possessions. It's more about something uh, that keeps us all connected and doing something that is enriching and inspiring. Um, so I try to find artists that are interested in that human element connection and giving back. Yes. Um, the artists um, participate on, on their own um, and give their talents, but we pay for a lot of their expenses. So uh, we pay for airfares and lodging and food and all the supplies and PR. and So we pay for a lot of things for them, um, but they're participating as, as volunteers, just like I am. The first time I saw uh, Chalk Festival was last year here in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw that, I was captivated because of the magic of this thing. I decided this is something I've got to have a go at. My name is Brian Moon. I'm 85 in January. Uh, I live here in Sarasota, but I was born in England. And I've been in America for over 40 years. I used to, I used to paint in watercolor, then, then oil, but I've been uh, Chalking and pastel, as you call it in America, pastel we call it in England, pastel. I've been chalking and pastel, all my originals, uh, for maybe 40 years. For instance, what I'm painting now is a whimsical piece. It's totally frivolous. It's called the James Younger Gang, and it's really eight cats who are dressed up as cowboys. And the James Younger Gang, the date is 1876. 
And the reason I'm painting that is because I'm from Minnesota recently. And in Minnesota is a, a town in which the last raid by the James Younger gang, which included Frank and Jesse James, their last raid took place before all the, James, all the, all the Younger brothers were captured and put in prison. So it's their last raid picture. Well, I started okay. yesterday. Oh, wow. I was the first artist here to start. First one to get signed up, first one to start. And so I now have, I, we went on from seven o'clock till five o'clock yesterday, and we started eight o'clock today, and we're making terrific progress. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be working on it, I think, for all the eight days. This is only my second day, and I think it's gonna take all of the eight days to finish. It's a big job. I've got four people assisting me, but it's still a big job. Action from the rain is the big thing. You'll find there's some panels over there. Uh -huh. Those are my panels. Every night we lay those down and tape them down over the original, over the original chalking. Mm -hmm. If it rains, I'm going to be waterproof. I don't know what anyone else is doing, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to seeing it finished, first of all, yeah. and finding my reaction. Uh, but it would be nice to hear what the other people think as they go by. I'm sure we'll hear that. Uh, to, uh, my name is Craig Thomas, uh, it's November 3rd, 2012. Uh, they contacted me, I think I was doing a street painting uh, over in uh, Safety Harbor. But yeah, so they got a, about four years ago. This is my fourth year. Around, I've, I've been to um, Italy and uh, Paris and uh, uh, Canada and uh, th throughout the Midwest. I'm from uh, Missouri, so I do a lot in the Midwest. And uh, I've gone to about three different ones down here in Florida over the years. But this one here is about my dog. I just uh, put down our dog, a 17-year-old dog, uh, died uh, Halloween, so uh, I just kind of scrapped what I was doing and then decided to do one on the dog for therapy reasons. <laughs> this is their sec the second day, so it's a three-day event, so I'm halfway, halfway done. I mean, it's pretty well filled in, but then I'll come back and start detailing. Like right now, I'm detailing the dog's face. Well, more people see uh, this artwork than anything else I do, other than murals, I guess, but, uh, uh, you know, you can ask the average person if they gone to a, a gallery or a muse art museum, and, and most will say <laughs> no, or 50%. Uh, so this way, you, you really bring the art to the people. It's kind of fun. And, uh, it's, awesome. it's always great to come down to Florida. It's beautiful weather, I love it. My name is Truman Adams. I grew up in Las Vegas, uh, but I've been in Sarasota for 16 years and been a freelance artist here for 14 years. I became involved in the festival uh, four years ago, uh, and it was uh, the first time I had uh, used chalk in like 16 years. Um, and it was one of the first, one of the biggest pieces I'd ever done, which was eight by 10 feet. This is about my 10th festival in, uh, in four years, uh, but uh, yeah, pretty much just, uh, just around Florida. So far, I, I'm looking to uh, travel you know, around the country and do some international stuff as well. Uh, the 3D image works, it's based on, the, um, uh, on a grid um, and the dimensions of the road that you have. I had to make it so big, so uh, ideally I would even make this bigger and people could, you know, a whole bunch of people could stand in the hand. But right now, one person, you know, works. Uh, anyway, so you have the grid laid out in 20 by 40 feet. You put the vertical image that you want over top of that uh, dimension and then you flip the grid in Photoshop to a, a vertical again. And so that stretches out the other vertical image that you have, and that's why it's, that's why it's elongated like that. Uh, and it only works in one vantage point, so you have to be in the exact spot. For this one in particular, it's 10 feet back and about six feet up. Um, the, the, the letters uh, I painted with, uh, with red tempera, which is like a kid's finger paint, um, and, the, uh, and uh, some of the black. Uh, a lot of the black is uh, painted tempera, and, uh, but the rest is all just junk. Uh, but what inspires me, uh, my, my own personal fine art, is, uh, is nature. And looking, um, seeing visions in uh, organic pattern. Uh, it's, it's been fun, you know. Uh, it, I, it's completely volunteer, uh, but uh, it, I put my name on it, so, uh, you know, it's got to turn out right. Um, and. Um, I don't know, it's just, I, I don't get excited uh, at five o'clock in the morning, ready to start doing something for, you know, 
for money as I did for doing it for free. You know.